My name's Howard J. Terkstra. I'm from Kansas City. Uh, my hobbies are fast cars and fast women. Because uh, that's why my guys in my car club call me the cruiser. You should call him the dork. <laughs> Knock it off. Go ahead. Uh, I joined the Army because my father and my brother were in the Army. I thought I'd better join before I got drafted. Son, uh, there ain't no draft no more. There was one? <laughs> what a jerk. Next. The name's Francis Sawyer. But everybody calls me Psycho. Any of you guys call me Francis, and I'll kill you. Ooh. <laughs> you just made the list, buddy. And I don't like nobody touching my stuff. So just keep your meat hooks off. If I catch any of you guys in my stuff, I'll kill you. <laughs> also, I don't like nobody touching me. Now, any of you homos touch me, and I'll kill you. Lighten up, Francis. <laughs> You're all in this together. One of these men may save your life one of these days. You understand that? Then again, maybe one of us won't. <laughs> you, go ahead. Me? Yeah. My name's Dewey Oxberger. My friends call me Ox. You might have noticed I've... Uh... I've got a slight weight problem. No. Yeah, I do. No. Yeah, yeah, I do. Anyway, I went to this doctor, and well, he told me I, I swallowed a lot of aggression, along with a lot of pizzas. <laughs> pizzas. <laughs> I'm basically a shy person. I'm a shy guy, and uh, he suggested taking one of these uh, aggression training courses, you know, these aggressive training courses like AST, those type of things. Anyway, it cost 400 bucks. Yeah, 400 bucks to join this thing. Well, I... I didn't have the money. And I thought to myself, join the army. It's free. So I figured, while I'm here, I'll lose a few pounds. And you got, what, a six to eight week training program here? A real tough one? Which is perfect for me. I'm going to walk out of here a lean, mean fighting machine. <laughs> right. It is, it is, it is. Zitsky. I've always been kind of a pacifist. When I was a kid, my father told me, never hit anyone in anger unless you're absolutely sure you can get away with it. I don't know what kind of soldier I'm going to make, but I want you guys to know that if we ever get into real heavy combat, I'll be right behind you guys every step of the way. OK, Mr. Push-ups, let's hear your story. Chicks dig me, because I rarely wear underwear, and when I do, it's usually something unusual. But now I know why I have always lost women to guys like you. I mean, it's not just the uniform. It's the stories that you tell. So much fun and imagination. Lee Harvey, you are a madman. When you stole that cow, and your friend tried to make it with the cow? I want to party with you, cowboy. <laughs> the two of us together? Forget it. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to volunteer my leadership to this platoon. An army without leaders is like a foot without a big toe. And Sergeant Hoka isn't always going to be there to be that big toe for us. I think that we owe a big round of applause to our newest, bestest buddy and big toe, Sergeant Hulka. <laughs> well, okay, hotshot. We're going to see what kind of soldier you are. 
Revel is all 500. We're gonna fall out with locker boxes and we're gonna have a locker box inspection. And then we're gonna do 10 miles, rain or shine. So you better hit them monks, my little babies. Or Sergeant Hulk with the big toe is gonna see how far he can stick it up your ass.